Amin says you have some pretty interesting information to tell us about a misconception about human growth hormone. I'm living in China. So in China, there is no green tops. There is no uh, hig drop in, gin drop in. There is only, you can only go to a hospital. You can ask a doctor and doctor will give you prescription and that's what you will get. This is from the hospital. And, and what brand is that? Just so everybody knows. Uh, this one is Gen Hill. It's made by Shanghai Biotech. This is the same company which makes uh, Gen Hill for Sun Pharma and export it to India. So because in China, you, you cannot buy. Yes, they can export all this green stuff, blue stuff, whatever you call it, generics. They, they are exporting. And I'm a businessman here. Uh, I'm not going into chemical details uh, like so many people in YouTube, including Matt Potter and some other bodybuilders. They claim, oh, generics are as good as this. I'm only asking one, uh, one simple question from your common sense, from a very small business common sense. Okay, this is not, uh, this is not a PED. This is not like Dynaballs, right? This requires a multi-million dollar setup to manufacture, and you need to have a right environment, sterile environment, and storage facilities, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's very fragile. If it's so easy to make, right? Why all these companies who are selling in green tops, this tops? Why they don't get a license, and why they don't start exporting it, or why they don't start supplying it domestically? and make millions and millions of dollars. Bazzi, explain why that's this is crazy. Because, I mean, you're, in China, you, you're going to get it for the cheapest possible price, right? So explain even why that that's crazy compared to the real thing and why it's crazy for that because of the fact that it takes so much money to make it, you know? So right. with insurance, the price is seven. Uh, it's like 700 RMB for 40 IUs, which comes to like 2.77, 2.88 dollars per IU. This is with insurance and from government because in China, no private hospital. Right. Okay. And in China as well, uh, even this is a Chinese brand, but doctor will also suggest you if you want better results, they will give you no detropin because yes, HGH is HGH, but different brands, how they have been extracted. Like serostem is mostly for skin burn victims, not for growth deficiency. So same way, like uh, I just got one of my friend, their kid, uh, his He's in deficient. He's not growing. And his estrogen levels are abnormally high. So a doctor put him on nordidropin. You, in the hospital, they have this Chinese as well, but they still put him because this effect is better. We are not talking about Dynabol or some uh, Psalms, this, that, that. You need millions and millions of dollars. You need a laboratory. So many guys like, you know, from the forum, uh, this HGH uncle, HGH business, this guy, this guy. They are all in China. I contact them because before I before I didn't have my contact in hospital to get it. So like every other guy, I was also looking into forums. I contact. Once they know we have to ship in China, no, no, no. Why? Because that's not HGH. If they supply me domestically and this is not HGH, they are in problem. They don't right. want to take that risk. It's right. only for export. Now let's let's also see that in China, <clears throat> they are selling. Nordotropin, and the reason he's saying that is because the pre-mixed version, he's, what I, for what I gather, they're not making that in China. They no. don't. It, it actually, the pre-mixed version is even more expensive. It costs even more equipment, and China hasn't even knocked it off officially. No, you know, like it's, it's, right. So, and that just tells you, even Chinese hospitals still use American Nordotropin. That's right. There are only <clears> three forms <throat> of HGH in China. One is this Gen Hill, one is Gentropin, and one is another company from North China. That's it. Only three, and all come in liquidized powder. I want to talk about Gentropin because that is such a highly faked product. Every GHA, say, even I mean, you if you want, I can also send you fake uh, humatropin from here. Send it's me fancy. real anything. You <laughs> well, in China, guys, remember they counterfeit. They counterfeit everything. They counterfeit Gucci. You know. All, Sir, of the, I, all the stuff, so you can if, counterfeit anything. If I tell you 500 RMB for Yeezy Adidas shoes, which cost more than 2,000 RMB, like if you wear and if you can go to store, you even the storekeeper cannot tell you this is fake. Wow. But, and, and, it's, and, and, and it's selling so openly, government doesn't control. If you go to WeChat, there are so many, uh, you can buy any bag you want. 
and it's right. better than, it's better than original so i mean you can walk straight away into uh, they're not uh, those companies aren't registered though right with the, with the no, government no no, no. no. <laughs> just so like, do you think do you think that that hygiene tropin is one of those something no, like sir. that all the companies including my company mm -hmm. every company is registered because without registration you cannot have license you cannot have a company you have to register your company in china and you can go to every province of the provincial website government and you can see what companies are there you before this hick tropin u tropin rip tropin there is no such company and i think that's something to point out is every single form is full of drug dealers and I'm just going to throw this out there because that's what it is, trying to push their product as efficiently as possible to people who don't know what quality products are like. And when you have that situation, you have an idea that is propagated. And that idea is that this is the top tier when people think hot dogs are top tier when they've never had a really good steak. Yeah. Right. No one's had really good on these forms. Most of them have never had really good human growth hormone. And like Boston said, when you interview, when you talk with him, he said that Dave wasn't having a lot of pros do pharmaceutical HGH. And I think we have seen a clear deterioration in the way of physiques look, especially in the pro league, because guys are right. using this fake shortcut. And that's why the doses have gone up so much. And that is a serious issue. All these underground labs who are selling this HGH, they are putting God knows what chemical to give you that mm -hmm. uh, uh, side effect. So yeah. when you once you inject, you feel, oh, my hand is going numb, I'm holding water and all this thing. But this is not edgy. You just use your business sense. Let's say all this generic is very good. This is as far as pharma. So if it is so good and you are you are not manufacturing in your bathroom tub, you are manufacturing in a laboratory. So why don't you come out with your own brand? You have all the infrastructure. You are a licensed laboratory. Why don't you come out with a brand? Yeah. Why do you only sell on forums to a niche group of the of the society when the bigger market is medical? I mean, you have to take land from the government. This is not U.S. that you buy a piece of land and you build your house. Everything belongs to government. You have to lease. You have to lease from government. You have to build the uh, laboratory. Then you have to get the certification from Food Drug Administration Control. You have to make your product. You have to get it approved. And then you have to sell. So you are investing so much money but to sell by in co through couriers at $80, including middleman's profit. Are you kidding me?